Hello and welcome to an opinionated guide to pandas. Uh, this is going to be two parts. I just want to explain a little bit about why I made this tutorial in the first place. And then I'm going to do a little bit of an installation guide, just sort of walking people through how they'll go ahead and install uh, this opinionated guide to pandas uh, and go through the tutorial or go through the tutorials with me. Um, so I've I hesitated a, a while uh, to go ahead and uh, do this guide to pandas, um, and the reason why is because if you Google online, there's just plenty. There's plenty of YouTube tutorials that do actually guide you through pandas. Um, the thing was, I never actually looked at them before, um, and then recently, you know, I was talking to one of my uh, you know former students, and they were talking about you know how we wish we could have gone over more pandas, and I was like, aren't there great resources for pandas out there? And they were like, not really. Um, I think the problem is that the resources are either one super intro, they never go into the details, they explain one sort of very small uh, situation that is rarely to or occurs, it does, um, but uh, edge cases occur all the time and they just sort of don't go into the, the intuition of like, what, what are these functions for? Like, why, why, did the, why did the architects of pandas design it this way? Um, and the second type of tutorial is, is what I would almost call a reference. Um, it just has all the details. It explains multiple ways of doing the exact same thing, and it doesn't really tell you which one you should do. Um, and so that's why I wanted to, and that's sort of why I got the name. Uh, that's why I wanted to, I wanted to let people know what are the important and advanced pandas functions that I use that data scientists use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so this tutorial is an opinionated guide to pandas. Um, it is opinionated. Um, it is. Uh, and I, I strongly stre I stress the word opinion here. Um, it is one way to do pandas. It is not necessarily the absolute right way to do pandas. It is what I have used throughout my uh, tenure as a data scientist, and it has served me very, very well. Um, and hopefully it will serve you very well. So if you are interested in, in learning, if this is something that sort of uh, you know, titillates you, go ahead and, uh, and jump into the next videos. The video data structures, introduction to pandas data structures, is for people that sort of are not super familiar with pandas. They've used it before, but aren't super familiar. Uh, you can skip that if you already sort of feel like I, I'm past the beginner phase of, of, um, of pandas. And I'm sort of more into the intermediate. Uh, this is definitely sort of a, an intermediate tutorial, a beginner intermediate tutorial. So um, if you've not used pandas at all before, maybe this isn't the perfect tutorial for you. But if you do like kind of I don't know, if you like reading about the details before you actually get your hands dirty, you know, this can be fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this. Uh, the first step, if you wanted to go ahead and, and sort of work alongside me to go ahead and install this, is you go ahead and click clone or download. Copy this, um, and then just clone or download it. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, so I've got my terminal opened here. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a good old git clone um, pandas tutorial. Clones pretty quick, there's not really too much to it. Um, we can get inside our pandas tutorial and there's not really too much in here as well. Um, the next thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to make a virtual environment. Uh, this is generally good sort of, pan or not pandas, but Python practice. Um, there's really great tutorials on virtual environments here in Hitchhiker's Guide to Python. Uh, so go ahead and install a virtual environment and then once you've done that, go ahead and make a virtual environment. Uh, we'll be using Python 3. It's pretty important that we go ahead and use Python 3 instead of Python 2. Um, Python 3 is the version that Pandas is actually going to be supporting in the future. I believe that in, yeah, after 2019, Pandas is not even going to support Python 2 anymore. So you gotta got to move on. Um, and, uh, you know, that's also to me as well. I was probably one of the last ones that actually did. Um, so we'll make a virtual environment. We'll use Python 3. Uh, we'll create it. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to go ahead and do that. Um, the next thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to activate the virtual environment and then we'll need to go ahead and install all of our requirements.txt. Okay, so hopefully that's done. So we did. Uh, to activate your virtual environment, it's different on different machines. Um, there is a link in the guide that goes ahead and sort of shows you how to do this on a Windows. I didn't do it on a Windows, I did it on a Mac. So, so hey, uh, you can go ahead and activate it that way. You'll notice you'll get a little env over here to show that you've activated it. The next thing you need to do is install all the requirements that I have. Uh, so that's pretty easy. It's pip install-r requirements.txt. Uh, and it will install a lot of stuff. Um, and so this will go on for a while. So I might just sort of skip frame to the end of here. So I'll see you in one second. OK, welcome back. Um, I've, I'm done installing. As you can see, I installed a, a few things. Um, so the next step was we, need just, uh, we just need to open the IPython notebook. And then we can just go ahead and follow along. 
So we type in IPython notebook. We'll wait for just one second. It will pop up a little notebook. And ta-da, we are here. And the notebooks are all located in here. So you can just click on one and get started. So I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of the tutorials. Uh, if you've not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I love this. Okay, thanks. That was awesome. I'll talk to you all later.